On Sunday, we get the latest chapter of what is currently the best rivalry in the NFL when the Seattle Seahawks travel to San Francisco to face the 49ers. San Francisco is installed as a two and a half point favorite on BetDAC, 41.5 the total in this game. Both these teams have been good this season, but Seattle has clearly been better. As a matter of fact, there's an easy Seahawks angle here. They're 11 and one, the best record in the NFL. They've won their last two meetings with San Francisco by 55 combined points, including a 29 to three win earlier this year. They're coming off possibly the most impressive performance we've seen out of any NFL team this season when they beat the New Orleans Saints 34-7 on Monday night, and they're actually an underdog in this game. So very rare when you have the opportunity to back the best team in the league who is red hot and actually get points, but you do have that opportunity this week with the Seattle Seahawks. And I certainly understand the logic there. I certainly understand people liking Seattle in this situation, but I'm on the other side. I lean towards San Francisco here. It's true that Seahawks have won the last two meetings between these two teams, but both those games were in Seattle. They've lost four straight in San Francisco, and we, we know the Seahawks are better at home than they are on the road. Now, hey, they've been good everywhere this season. They've only lost once, but they do average eight fewer points per game on the road. They allow eight more points per game on the road. Just not quite as good away from Seattle, and that's, of course, par for the course for this team. They've been one of the best home teams in the NFL, if not the best home team in the NFL, over the last three seasons, and they're very close to locking up home field advantage in the NFC playoffs, so Seattle obviously a Super Bowl favorite right now. But they might have trouble on Sunday in San Francisco, and there are more tangible reasons than they struggle on the road. The Niners' offense might be getting a little better, while Seattle's defense might be getting a little worse. Michael Crabtree back in the fold now for San Francisco, and not coincidentally, Colin Kaepernick has now passed for 200 yards or more in two consecutive games for the first time this season. Meanwhile, the Seattle defense without two primary contributors now, Brandon Browner and Walter Thurman, both suspended due to PED use, or failed drug test. Not, not sure if it's PED because the NFL doesn't release that information. Now, hey, it didn't appear to hurt the Seahawks last week when they shut down the New Orleans Saints, but that game was outdoors in the freezing rain. This is a little bit of a different story in San Francisco. We know the 49ers base their offense around the power running game, and Seattle knows that too, so they will be bracing for that. But it wouldn't surprise me to see Colin Kaepernick connect on a couple of big plays downfield here. And I think the Niners are going to be able to do enough to win this game and cover. Seattle has a good offense, but San Francisco great on defense. And as we mentioned, the Seahawks do score eight fewer points per game on the road. Just think this is a good spot for a San Francisco play. Always tough to turn away from the under when these two teams face each other. And again, 41.5 feels a little high, so you might want to look at the under here. But the bet I like more is San Francisco minus two and a half.